Hey guys, so the uh, video you're about ready to see uh, was actually shot a month ago. Xmark had asked me to take it down because it shows some prototype wheels that they've been working on. Uh, they're like twheels almost, but they're not twheels, they're Kenda tires, and we go, or they're Kenda wheels, and we'll go over that a little bit in this video. Uh, but I wanted to explain why I'm showing a video that I shot a month ago today. Well, they had asked me to take it down and I complied. Uh, they just weren't ready for the prototype to be released to social media. But recently I've gotten an email from Xmark and they said, Ben, go ahead and release your video, all's well. Uh, but keep in mind that these are prototype wheels and these may or may not be the ones that go into production. So keep that in mind when you're watching this video. I'm very excited because I love packages. Can't wait to see what's in it. Uh, but the, all those timestamps are in the description of the video. Guys, I'm not gonna be upset if you don't sit through this whole thing. I know it's super long. I'm super long-winded and I just can't help it. I've given up trying. Uh, besides, uh, we enjoy them. Uh, <laughs> and if you got nothing to do, maybe you'll watch the whole thing, who knows. But uh, I wanted to tell you that so you can enjoy the video. Right now I'm working on the editing part and I uh, can't wait to get it out anyway. Hey guys, it's Ben. Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care. AcmeMowing.com, how's it going? Happy Wednesday to you. Hey, today we're gonna talk about those uh, twheel wheels that I tried out on that X Mark 60. Uh, I've gotta take it back. Uh, so, uh, I don't want to. So that, that should give you some kind of a indication of what I thought about the twheels and what I thought about the mower. I don't wanna, I don't wanna return it. Uh, <laughs> but I have to. So we got to take it back up to my buddies up at Link Lawn, Equi Link's Lawn Equipment. Um, and we'll do, we'll do some talking about that. Uh, I got to find out how much they want for them and stuff like that uh, so I can pass it on to you. The last I heard, they were like $1,500 for a pair of them, but that was at the GIE last year. So maybe the price has gone down. Maybe they're a little bit more reasonable now. Let's go find out though. Let's, let's hook this trailer up and let's go check it out. Guys, it's always about this port, about this part where I turn in here that I start getting, I don't know. Our dealership, when you, I don't know about you guys, but when you walk into your dealership, there's a certain smell. You can smell the machines. And I just love it. I just love it. It reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to walk into uh, the toy store. Uh, you can, there was just a certain smell to it all, you know? Uh, and this Lynx lawn equipment's the same way. I feel like I'm a big kid every time I go in here. Get all giddy and stuff. Anyway, I'm hoping that Brian, the owner, is in today, or Austin, or Andrew. Uh, any of those guys will do to talk about these twill wheels. Let's go talk to, talk to them and see what they have to say. Dirty jersey up there, I gotta say it. Lynx lawn equipment, baby. Hey Andrew, what up, buddy? Hi. How's it going? What's up, man? So we're here at Link's Lawn Equipment, and I'm talking to the owner, Brian Link. Hey, Brian, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. I just learned something new. I've been calling those things that I've been testing twheels. I've been demoing them. I've been calling them twheels, but they're not twheels, are they? The X Mark ones are. Um they're made by Kenda, but they're going to have Xmark's name on them. So. Right. I noticed that in the center of the hub that it had the X. Mm -hmm. uh, that's you know, the X. The, that's the pretty rim, cool. The rim and the tire, it's all so, one. So they're not Twills. They're, they're not made the by Twill brand. Twills, kind of the name from uh, Michelin. It's like calling a Pepsi a Coke. Well, okay. All right. So now I'm, I've stand stand corrected. He's going to show me something on paper here that you guys may be interested in too. So what are we doing here, Brian? Well, this is the twill design. Right. And this is why Xmark didn't go with this, because what happens is when one of these veins breaks, yes. it's usually a domino effect. It just, they break all the way up the side of a hill, yeah. get like side load on it. Sure. The one thing about the honeycomb design is one, com one component can break, but it doesn't affect the other one. It stays, 
you, you know, there's there's more structure to it. Xmark didn't want to put this on their product and then start having problems with it. And there has been uh, there have been issues with with that design. Well, I wasn't aware of that at all, and I appreciate you bringing that to my attention. I noticed that it, it that they look different than the ones that I looked at at the GIE. Right. And, and I think good. those were Mich Michelin wheels that I looked right. at down there last yep. year. Well, I'm gonna yep. bring it in. But these honeycomb ones, they're you can have a failure, uh, but it it doesn't affect the rest of the. If you look at the the skid steer world, all of the tires that are on there are the right. honey, uh, some sort of a what kind of everybody's calling a honeycomb right. design. Uh, okay, you can have one link and it break but you don't lose the structure of the whole wheel, where each spot here is all the way from the tread to the rim. Um, you know, if one of these breaks, then it's it's shifting everything on both sides of that break. That's just so physics. That's like dominoes. Yeah. yeah, that's just physics. It's amazing how we take stuff from nature, like the honeycomb, like the bees. Exactly. And, put the, and you make a tire out of it. Man, we'll steal anything from anybody. But uh, I brought it back today, Brian. I'm not happy about it. I would have liked to have kept it for. I, I could tell when I passed you last night. You were doing this. I was doing that. I was smiling. You liked too. it. I did like it. So we we cut uh, a couple properties with it. We I tested it on the lake the lake house. So we call it the lake house. It's got a big hill that goes down into the pond, and I tried it on that, and it gripped. I mean, you could feel it. There's a there was a difference between my air tires on my Laser Z and the what do they call it? Kenda tires? Kenda yeah. tires? Right. I mean, we call them twills, I guess. Right. I mean, that's just going to be hard to break. Correct. But, uh, man, it just felt different. It felt like it, that those tires were were holding a lot better than the air tires were. And then we tried it on that property you saw me cutting yesterday, and you know they just had that septic work done. So I took it over that rough terrain without the blades turning. I didn't want to mess the mower up. But I wanted to see how it handled the, the bumpy terrain. And it, I, Man, it was nice. I haven't I had a chance to get, even get on it really yet. I know that a couple of guys are saying they don't like the ride. And I, I think it's a matter of what you're used to. I could get used to those pretty quick. But, well, it's, it's kind but of I don't funny. know. What got you that demo was a flat tire. Yeah, I, no, know, I talk I mean, about, I talk you, about you that. Think, you think $1,000, I mean, that's a lot of money extra to go with the tire that will never have a flat. But you think of being on the other side of town and having to limp the mower onto a trailer, drive it to the shop. And if you got a crew, you're paying guys to sit in the parking lot while a flat tire gets fixed. And that, it'll take long to add up. That's kind of what I, that's kind of what I thought. And I did the math last night, real quick napkin type math to figure out how much I could afford to pay for them. How long I thought my mower would last because those tires or those wheels will probably outlast the mower. Yeah. So for those I'd have to, I mean, they're going to outlast the mower. So I had to figure out how long I thought my, I'd keep that mower, whether they'd be affordable to me, and I set my own price point. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be doable, but I'm not a big guy either. If I was a big big guy and I was running lots of crews, I see it all the time. Guys, I would have pulled the trigger on them guys today. Guys, their machines down, and they got three guys sitting in the truck at you know, I mean, 40, well, I see 12, it. Up. Fifteen bucks an hour, forty-five dollars an hour, sitting there yep. idle, you yep. know, in, in labor. So I think that those things are. For the for the solo and the loss of production. I mean, when yes. they could have been making money, that's they're right. costing money. So that's, I mean, it's that's right. For the guys that have, uh, you know, a crew or two or three crews, I think that they're totally worth it. Right. I think you can get your money worth out of them in the first season, yep. honestly. Yep. Anyway, Brian, I just wanted to say thanks very much for letting yeah, me man. let me test Appreciate that out. Best. I got it on the I got it on the trailer out there. Okay. Yours is. So. Did you already get yours? I out? haven't. Yeah, yeah the door was closed. So I'm ready to go. Thanks, right. man. Thanks you for did. the thanks for the information. Yeah. What's up, fellas? Yeah, how are you? I'm awesome. I feel like I'm in a secret secret cave or something. This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> yeah. Get the John Deere up there. This looks familiar. I do love this mower. There's the old Laser Z. All right, I'll take her out to the. Do you want to drive it out or? No, go ahead. I'll meet you out there. All right. I don't know why, but it always seems to run better when I pull it out of the shop. 
and I know all they did was put on uh, patch that tire for me. Us humans were crazy, man. We got screws loose. Okay, so got an education on uh, these twheels, which actually aren't twheels. Twheels are made by Michelin. These are Kenda tires, and they're the honeycomb variety. I didn't get a close-up of them, but I want to now, before I turn this over to Brian, just to show you what he was talking about. He was talking about if this were to break, the rest of these would support it, uh, but on the twheels, it's kind of a domino effect if something breaks, and that's just physics, guys. That's just nature, nature at work in human engineering. It's amazing, and that's the Xmark Kenda Kenda tire. And just found out that these are prototypes. Uh, they're actually going to be going into production late this year for release out into the spring of next year. And the price point's around twelve hundred. Yeah, a thousand. Give or take, thousand to twelve hundred. I think I, I think Casey said it was going to be a thousand option. And next year they're going to be available on the machine from new, so you're not going to have to buy the the pneumatic tires and then pay a thousand dollars extra. Oh, they're just going to come standard. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, good to know. Yeah, I did enjoy them, uh, and I hate to give it up. But I know that you got other guys that are wanting, chomping at the bit probably to try those. Uh, guy, you know, the big commercial guys. Guys that, that these things will really benefit. Anyway, man, thanks so much. We appreciate it. You bet. And thanks for getting me hooked up on mine. You bet. We got, your business. Well, I love coming here. So, Well, we're going to get out of your hair, bud. I know you're busy. You've been busy all morning. You close at one, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, man. We'll talk to you later. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I learned something new today. I had no idea that there was a difference in Tweels uh, and Kendra tires. Kenda, Kendra, I'll get it right one of these days. But uh, I didn't even notice the difference uh, between the Tweels and those tires, uh, <clears throat> the spindles versus the honeycomb design. It's amazing, uh, the thought process that goes into it. And I think that that's one of the things that sets Xmark apart from some of its other competitors, is they don't jump on the, the next new thing just for the sake of jumping on the next new thing. Uh, they saw that there was value in a tire that didn't need to be uh, maintained with patches and, and air. Uh, they saw that there was value in it and they went out and uh, discovered the honeycomb on their own. Uh, I think it's the only brand, you can correct me if I'm wrong, it's the only mower brand out there that's going to be doing the honeycomb design, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I've been wrong many times in the past. Please correct me in the comments if I am wrong. But uh, very cool. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did because I just love learning new stuff and that was fascinating to me. So, uh, hey, listen, the shop rooms are almost complete. Well, for all intents and purposes, they are complete. We're going to be moving in real shortly probably uh, this weekend. Uh, we just haven't had time up to now. But I wanted to ask your opinion on something. Now I've got this outside uh, wall here and you can see that it's got just the, the, the natural, the wood chippage uh, look going on. And I'm wondering, should I paint it? Now I'm gonna be hanging stuff up there. Maybe the t-shirts and stuff will be going up here somewhere. Uh, it, you know, and the American flag obviously needs to go up there. Uh, but I'm thinking, do I paint it or do I not paint it? What do you guys think? And if you do think that I should paint it, what color do you think I should paint it? Uh, I, initially, I'm thinking maybe like a dark gray, uh, but I don't know. Uh, comment in the comments below. Tell me if you think I ought to paint these, uh, these, this wall out here or whether I should just leave it as a natural, natural wood look. Uh, I'm thinking that I want to paint it, but we'll we'll see. And if I do paint it, it will be this winter. It'll be a winter project. I don't have time for that uh, during the season. Anyway, here's the shop, guys. You can see I put a cipher lock on it uh, for easy access because I'm a very forgetful person. I always forget my keys. So I would hate to be running out to the shop to grab something out of this office and, and left my keys in the house. And I know I'll do that, so I put a cipher lock on it. So 
to prevent that from happening. Anyway, here's the shop, guys. This is the main room. It's echoing in here because I've got no furniture, no nothing on the walls. Uh, but we will pretty soon. KH picked out the beautiful uh, ceiling fan. So let me just show you around this room first and then we'll move into the other two rooms. You can see I've got a heat and air in here. So we'll be comfortable uh, summer and, and, and uh, winter. Uh, we're gonna put a TV up in this corner up here. Uh, probably a couch down below the window here, uh, next to the window. We're planning on putting the fridge of fame either in that corner or in that corner. Uh, and the bar right here along with the bar stools. Uh, and maybe even a uh, maybe even a recliner chair for me when I'm hanging out, uh, when Karen kicks me out of the house. But uh, this is the main room. Uh, I'll show you the I'll show you the storage room next because I want to save the my favorite room for last. Uh, but this is the storage room. Now this door leads out to the pool. Uh, comes straight in from the pool. My, now my intention is to put pavers from the pool all the way out here. You can see that they ran the water line from my well, my well head, and it's left this dirt. And I've got a ditch because it rained recently, and and uh, the dirt's all filling in now. Uh, well, and there's Riley. Hi, Riley. How are you? She's wondering what I'm doing. Uh, but this is going to be the storage room slash changing room slash towel drying room. We're going to get a uh, used electric dryer, put it in here. We've got an exhaust all hooked up for it. And this way, when we're done swimming, we can just throw all those towels uh, in here and dry them off. Uh, that way we're not, uh, you know, making a mess of the house, tracking in and out. Kind of the idea of it. KH picked out the tile, by the way. Uh, it's a gray tile. It's got a gritty surface, so it's non-slip. Non uh, these are the things that Ben would not have thought about, uh, and it's one of the reasons that I'm happy that I'm married to such an intelligent, beautiful woman as KH. Uh, she thinks of these things. I don't. But anyway, so this is going to be the storage room in here. This opens up into uh, this area, which is locked, which can be locked. Uh, not, not necessarily will lock it, but it can be locked. Main area, I already explained all this. And then my favorite room is the bathroom. Uh, we need a little bit more lighting in here, I've just, I've determined. So that's not going to be a problem. We're just going to put up a uh, something in the corner over here to light it up. Or something over the sink, I'm not really sure yet. But we're, gonna, we're definitely going to put some more light in here. Uh, because it is just a little dingy in here. But KH picked out the color scheme, guys. You can see it's kind of a three-tone gray, darker gray on the trim, lighter gray on the uh, walls, and even a lighter still gray on the ceiling. So uh, with some white cabinets uh, that contrast the gray, I think, very nicely. We have a toilet in here that is functional now because we had the water run, uh, and it flushes and everything. Uh, we have a sink that works. Um, and a shower that works. Now I need to get a shower curtain and clean this all up because it's still all construction uh, dirt still left. We got a couple things left to do before we move in ready, but it won't take long. But uh, that is uh, the new shop rooms. I'm very pleased with it, I must say. And uh, the new storage area. So KH isn't putting her leg through the ceiling of the attic uh, storage anymore like she did uh, so many videos ago I showed you but uh, that's all storage up there on the top so a bunch of this stuff that I don't use on a daily basis like lawnmower blades uh, maybe once a week I'm just gonna put a shelf up there and just store all that stuff on there and that's gonna free up almost all this space so I'm gonna be able to put in I'm gonna be able to just store machines in here uh, nothing but machines and and my car, of course. But I'm going to have plenty of space now, uh, thanks to those storage rooms. Now, don't mistake this uh, shop room uh, visit for our shop tour because we haven't done our shop tour yet. It's uh, we're waiting until we get moved all all of our stuff into the shop rooms back there. You know, our bar and our fridge of fame and our slot machine and our T-shirts and all that kind of stuff. We're waiting until we get all moved in before I do the whole shop tour. 
Uh, but when I do the whole shop tour, we're going to do everything. We're going to talk about the construction. We're going to talk about the insulation. We're going to talk about uh, the electrical. We're going to talk about the water. We're going to talk about the septic system that I had to put in uh, for this shop. Uh, we're going to talk about the electric uh, door opener for the huge shop door. Makes life so much easier. Uh, we're going to talk about all that stuff, but not yet. Uh, right now, we're going to wait until KH gets home to do the Fridge of Fame so we can open this package that's been sitting here all week, and I'm dying to open it. I'm dying to find out what's in it. So now it's a matter of hanging up the PT's lawn care uh, shirt along with our collection and waiting for KH. Here we go. All right, guys. So I'm going to add the... Uh, the PT's lawn care shirt to my collection of shirts up there. Uh, I wanted to point out that on the back, it's awesome. It says, better call Paul. And then it's got his number. Uh, that's a really cool shirt and I really appreciate you sending it to me, Paul. Thank you very much. Without further ado, let's get you up there. There you go, PT's Lawn Care. Uh, your shirt is very welcome to my collection, and thank you very much for sending it. I appreciate it. Well, before we head off for the Fridge of Fame, I just wanted to thank Casey and Emily from Xmark uh, for everything. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate you. Are we getting an eye to? Uh, well, I was doing the chemicals. We yeah. certainly can if you want. It's kind of hot. What are you doing in there? <laughs> What is it? What? What the heck? They're claiming all my properties. We gotta put. We will. We have to. I'm not yeah. Karen. I know. <laughs> There's only one me. I know, baby. I got my smarts on today because we're gonna open a package. It's pretty warm in here. Yes, it is. So, welcome to the fridge of fame, guys. Hey, all. Uh, Wanted to say this will probably be the last time that we do it in this portion of the shop. Right. We're going to be moving back to those shop rooms pretty soon. Probably this weekend. I cannot wait. Me neither. Because I'm so impatient and nosy. Yes, and clumsy. And nosy, you and know. Al and also clumsy. <laughs> yes, clumsy. <laughs> I showed him the hole in the attic, uh, well, in the garage where he fell through the attic almost. It. That was not my fault. You put a... <laughs> ice chest yep. in front of where I okay. always step so, okay it's his fault y'all yep. all right <laughs> so we have a package yes it's a magnet mm. yard 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 man LLC we have two magnets I'm thinking this one's mine to we go could, on yes. the fridge in the house that's proved approved is requested it's got the American flag on it because I'll bet you that he's army it says veteran owned and insured uh, check us out on YouTube and Instagram. So Yardman LLC, links in the description of his video uh, to, well, his videos on YouTube mm -hmm. and an uh, Instagram handle. I'm not, I'm kind of oh, a noob at doing that. There's a spot, yes. I see. Yep. We did some getting rid of duplications. Oh, okay. We got rid of no stickers, though, okay. but we got rid of duplication. There's a Yardman LLC card. Professional lawn care services, and then on the back, I assume. Rob Cowan. It'd be all his info. Mm-hmm. We got a notepad. Oh, that's pretty handy. Yeah. I like that. I think that should go on your desk. I will put this in my truck because I'm always looking oh. for something to write on in my truck. Okay. Hi, Ben, KH, family, and friends of Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com. Thanks for all the content and support to our professional lawn care community. You guys are awesome. I love that you shed light on some of us smaller companies just starting out in the business. As for me, I'm still part-time until I retire from the Army in 2021. Yes. <laughs> but I founded Yardman LLC last year to gain much-needed experience in running a business. It's folks like you that have helped to inspire me to get things done and like what I'm doing. We may run separate companies, but a lot of us are doing great work and sharing our ups and downs so that everyone may grow. Stay cool. 
That's cool. Cool. <laughs> Enjoy the white shirt. It's okay to get it dirty. Shirts with the new logo are in the works. Your friend, Rob. And it says, uh, Yardman LLC owner. It says, keep up the great things that Acme Mowing and Lawn Care has been doing. Um, hashtag Mo Nation. Mo Nation. Yep. Johnny with Mo. A smiley face. Johnny Mo started Mo Nation. Yes, he did. So there we go. Okay. Oh, this is cool. And uh, anybody, and I just wanted to interject. It's not just the lawn care professionals, man. It's mm -hmm. it's the homeowner guys that do their next door neighbors too, or the or the kid on the street that maybe no Moses across the street neighbor. Mm -hmm. Those guys are part of our community as well. Yes. So he sent this. Yardman well. LLC. Oh man, that's cool. Yeah. So let me just focus on that. Yardman LLC. This is his flyer with all his with all his uh, services. And most backyards are based on $20 per week. I imagine that those are probably base housing where the, where the yards are very small. But I'm just making assumptions. You can correct me if I'm wrong, yard man. We appreciate that. That's pretty cool. And here's another magnet. And another magnet with uh, his business card. Yeah, uh, logo another on. Bis That's business That's pretty cool. Card. You can have that one for your fridge oh, too. Okay. We'll put the yellow one on, on out here on the fridge of fame because okay. it kind of stands out. Oh my gosh, babe. Collared shirt. Well, that's cool. This that is, is really nice. Yeah. Yardman LLC. I'll probably wear that closer to the fall because this material, boy, I'd be, that'd be killing me here in Oklahoma, bro. But I'll wear it in the fall. I certainly will. And yeah. I will get it dirty yeah <laughs> so, okay i promise you i'll get it dirty oh, and, and he, then i'll hang it up on, with my other shirts he sent us pens and we got pens from yard man mm -hmm. man all kind this okay. guy's going all out that's awesome that's really cool so thanks rob thank you very much we appreciate it uh very we much we really do the yeah. shirt i'll i'll get use out of i promise you and then we'll hang it up with my collection uh, but it'll have to be the fall. I have to anyway, find the you are going up tape. again. We uh, we up. cleared some spots out of the fridge fame here, and they were basically duplicates. So, like I had a business card from somebody, and I had their magnet. So I kept the coolest Where's thing that the they tape? gave me. We had tape out here before. A treasure trove, if you will, of yeah. loot, and I appreciate it. Honestly, I do. I'm gonna share it with some of the guys around here, especially the pens. Yes. Uh, but I'm keeping that pad for myself because I need one in the truck. Anyway, guy, you're going on the fridge of fame. Uh, we've cleared a couple spots out uh, because they were duplicates. We'd have somebody's card and then we'd have a magnet. We just kept the coolest thing to us, uh, the thing that we thought of when we thought of their company and the other one went into storage. So we've, you'll notice we've got some really cool spots. All the, the pens and the pad. I'm gonna use yeah. that in my truck for sure, man. Hey, but without further ado, because this video is super duper long, I just wanted to say, welcome to our fridge of fame. You're gonna be going up such notables as 904 Lawn Pros, Precision Lawn Service, Caddo Lawn Care, Green Life, uh, who's kitty corner to Lanier and right under AJ's Lawn Care, who's right next to Murphy's, who's right under Rob's Odd Job in the greener side, and above, Hubbard's Lawn Care, who's above, Guth like a tooth lawn care. <laughs> Yardman LLC, welcome, welcome to the Fridge of Fame. Welcome to the Fridge of Fame, sir, and thank you for serving our country. Yes, thank you. Love That's each it. other. Make lots of money. <laughs> and peace. Peace, guys. Hey, we'll see you Saturday. Saturday's cool. We're talking to a blind guy that does lawn care. Yay, bye, y'all.